Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through training and educational resources. Today, I have a quick tutorial on how to use the three different trim and extend tools in Revit. After you complete this video, you will be able to quickly trim corners, trim and extend both single elements and multiple elements. To help you practice, I've included an exercise file that you can follow along as well as practice on your own. At this point, you can open the trim tool exercise. You will see that each tool has one exercise and two practice exercises. You will also see that you have the answers to how they, the walls go together. Let's start with zooming in to exercise one, trimming corners. Here, we are going to use the trimming corner tool that you can find under the Modify tab. So click the Modify tab, and then under here you'll see the Trim and Extend Corners. If you continue to hold down, it will show you how this works. We're going to click that. The Trimming Corners has a shortcut, which is TR, so if you just type TR, you'll also get to the Trim Corner. When Trimming Corners, we select the portion of the wall we want to keep. So here, we'll take this wall on the left, we'll click it, and we'll trim it with this one that's above it. Notice that it makes a nice, clean corner and joins the wall nicely. We'll continue by again clicking the wall we want to keep and clicking the portion of the second wall. Continue going around until we have a complete rectangle. Pretty easy, right? Now you can take a moment, pause me, and you can try the practice trim corners on your own. How did you do? That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now let's work on trim and extend a single element. You will find the trim and extend single tool next to the corner. Again, we're under the modify tab, under the modify tools. We can now click the single trim and extend. The key here is that we want to select the wall in which we want to either extend or trim to. So in this case, I'm going to extend this wall up to this wall up here. So I'm going to select the wall I want to extend to first, and then I'm going to select the wall to extend. I can keep going by shortening this wall, trimming it. I can select the wall where I want it to be trimmed, and then I can select the portion I want to keep. I can do the same thing over here where I select the wall to the right and I can extend this wall here. Now I can use the trim tool, the trim corner tool to clean up these edges if I wanted. But right now we're going to continue using the single element. Select the wall I want to extend to, select what needs to be extended. Again, and I can keep going. Now if I want to extend this wall all the way down, I would just select this wall and then select the wall to extend. And there you go, that's how you use the trim and extend a single elements. Pause the video and why don't you try exercise one on your own. You ready for the third option? In this situation, we're going to use the trim extend multiple tool. This allows us to extend multiple things at one time. Again, we're under the Modify tab, and here to the right of the Trim Corner, Trim Single, we have a Trim Multiple. If we select this, we then select the wall we want to extend to, and then we can select all elements or all walls that need to be extended to that wall. If we want to change where we're actually extending to, all we have to do is click in our model space and then reselect where to extend to. And now we can do the other side. This is a very easy tool to use and can save you quite a bit of time. Now pause the video and you can practice trimming and extending multiple on practice one and two. 
Now remember, to get out of any command, we always go back up to the modify or we can hit escape two times. Now if you get stuck, I have created a cheat sheet over here to the right that shows you what the walls and how they're supposed to connect. I hope you found this video helpful. GAI offers several training options to help designers learn Revit. Right now we have a special offer. If you sign up through our website, you get all six modified tool tutorials for free. Each video shows you how to use the modified tools within Revit including the rotate, align, mirror, array, and move and copy. This is ideal for interior designers just getting started in Revit. Each video includes a practice exercise that will help you use the various tools in less than five minutes. To get this great offer, go to www.gainteriorsolutions.com Revit Tools. Remember the best part, it's free.